So today I thought we'd do a video on working with silk hankies and silk caps. Um, now the first thing I want to say is that when dealing with them, if your hands have any little rough bits in that, they're really hard to deal with. I mean, they stick to your hands and they're just not really very nice to work with. So for me, I find I've just used oil. This happens to be avocado oil because it was in a small bottle and you can either use salt or sugar and you're just putting a little bit I don't know if you can see this is quite cold here a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt so I've probably got not quite a teaspoon of salt there and I've just got these to catch my drips and then I'm just going to work it into my hands I would say if your hands have got any um, open bits in them, like if they um, if they got sore or things like that, then I would go for sugar so it doesn't sting because salt can sting. And this salt's actually a little bit coarse, actually. Um, it tends to dissolve as you work it, but just gives your hand, give your hands around the nails and around the tips of your fingers and that a good scrub with them make sure and try and get some of those loose bits off. Just getting off all the rough spots wherever they happen to be and when you think you've had enough wipe it off. I might use a different one. Wipe it off. Right, I'll just go back just go and wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay so we're back my hands are pretty good now they're not really sticking to it so yeah maybe a fraction I need to do a bit more anyway we'll get on with it now a silk there's a difference between the silk hankies and caps now this is a cap they're basically the same thing but the caps are stretched over a frame and they look like this they've got you could almost wear them and they look like a cap that's what they look like but as you can see there's multiple I don't know if you can see that clearly in this one there's multiple layers in this let's see if I can't pull one off and show you very fine multiple layers each one is one cocoon let's see if I can pull one off it's not going to be easy I think I've got more than one here but anyway we'll do it still sticking a bit isn't it now so there's our cap there and then you just you can either spin it you can use it to felt with if you stretch it out it'll go much flatter and I'll put that aside and show you the silk hankies this one here you can see especially so many layers in it okay take one off of here they are a bit sticky maybe this side will be better actually I think oh, much better I find it easier to lay them down and then take one off okay so that's your single layer silk hanky oh, looks a bit like spider webs oh, now they're very sticky little blighters now to use them you can either spin them you can either start from one end and start spinning them I prefer to start in the middle and start spinning it from here how you how thick or how thin you spin it is totally up to you so you just keep drafting it from this end from right in the middle draw it out keep spinning it it'll go quite a long way etc you get the message very sticky stuff this morning okay so this is some that I have spun already onto a bobbin and as you can see you can give it a quite a 
mottly look, a bubbly look. Okay, and then you can ply it with something and knit it however you like. Or the other thing that you can do is draft a silk hanky out. And this is like one cocoon. After they've reeled off the best of the silk, you get a cocoon left, what's left of the cocoon. And for me, I find if I put my fingers in the middle, pull it out, okay, so you've got a, a, a wide circle, and then I just keep pulling it until you get it the thickness you want. Now just remember, this is fairly puffed out, so make sure you twist it up to see exactly how thick it's going to be because it's very deceiving when it's all fluffed up like that. Okay, so keep pulling it. Make sure your hands aren't too close together because you won't be able to pull it. You need to have them a bit further apart. Keep working around it. And then when you are happy with it, see how long is that? That's quite, let me see if I'll spread it out here. Let's have a look at it. So it's quite a large diameter circle now. And then I just pull the ends apart and you can either roll it into a loose ball Put it away so that you've got it safely away somewhere or you can roll it onto a toilet roll same thing okay so this was one that just rolled up now and from there you can knit with it as though it's a yarn okay so this is a, just a sample this is unspun silk hanky fiber and this is what I've knitted so far. I was going to make myself a headband with it. Okay, and that's out of this one here. Okay, so this is how they come. There's a 20 gram pack. Well, depending where you get them from. And when you open them out, you can see the multiple, multiple layers of silk hankies. Okay take one of these out the other cool thing you can do with silk hankies I can't do it here because I'm on my own here but if you had somebody to hold two corners of this well, straighten it out goodness me need to go and do my hands again obviously you will find that if two people hold a corner each you will find that this will stretch and continue stretching about a meter and you have a very very fine cobwebby I can't even do it here because I'm on my own as I said a cobwebby piece of silk I don't know if you can do anything with it it just looks cool but once you've finished playing with it you can just put your fingers in the middle again and once again make your yarn or unspun ready to you can you can spin this like this or as I said you can knit it like it is and you've worked it out and just roll it up so that, not tightly just keep it loose so that you can put it away somewhere ready to unravel and actually use it for something okay so that's that one now I'll show you a couple of things that I have made right the first one is a cow so this is the cow pattern here this is my cow silk is very very light so this weighs 30 grams okay so it's very light not as stretchy as wool but very very warm okay so if any of you want the pattern just um, send me an um, email through my store and I'll 
um, email your copy of it. So that's a cow there. This is another cow, but this one's got a chevron pattern in it. So, and this one weighs 22 grams. Okay, so very, they squish up very small. Keep, a, keep somewhere so that you can just pop it away and then put it on and wear it. Okay, the other thing that you can make are these cute little flowers. Now these ones, this is just the, the same, the silk hanky just drawn out into a fibre and on these I put a little bead in the middle and a brooch back on them. Okay, so you can find the pattern for these on the internet. They're called, and they take two and a half grams each. Okay, so this is the pattern here. I'm hoping she won't mind me sharing it on here. So feel free to go searching for that. It's called the Silk Azalea Flower. And there's no spinning required. It's just, sorry, I'll take that away. Just the silk hanky fibre. And the one more thing that I have made is just a little pouch, like a um, an iPod cosy or... I don't know if it's quite big enough for a phone, but you could use it, keep it in your handbag and that. And this is eight grams of silk, unspun, just knitted. Okay, have we covered everything? I think so. Oh, the other one I had here. You can get a slightly different type of silk called silk laps, and it comes like an extra large hanky. They're not quite so easy to get hold of, but once again, they're multiple, multiple layers. And of course, when you draft them out, they give you a much longer um, strand of yarn. So this is one, this is a scarf I'm knitting from that one. Unspun. And pretty easy to do. It's pretty cool to do. So this was our silk cap piece. Same thing, you can do this the same as you did the silk hanky. Just put your fingers in the middle and just draft it out until it's the thickness you wouldn't want it to be. Keep, keep pulling it apart. Sometimes bits are a bit stickier than others. And then when you've got it to the thinness or the thickness that you want, break the ends and then just wind it up on your hand or on that toilet roll or on something and put it aside until you're ready to do something with it. Okay, thank you for joining me. Feel free to give me a like and subscribe and um, I'll be back next week with another one.